Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, joined by Fritz of Anomyces, looking at another Aslan beer. This is going to be our first Imperial Stout, or Stout in general from Aslan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be fun. It's almost like prequel for NBCC because they're coming. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. And yes, the, with the, an F. <laughs> the, the NBCC yeah. lineup was just announced, announced the other day. So Today. Today, yeah. yeah. But the other day for yeah. the people watching. Um, repping Aslan still um, <laughs> but yeah this is our stout this is uh, and some people say one of the better Aslan stouts this is the Aslan Dreams I love this label uh, it's really cool it's it almost it almost looks like it could be corals underwater yeah I think I think it's corals underwater but it's very dream like and it's also it's kind of a, a, kind of like proggy metal it could look like a dream theater type label or something yeah like that. yeah or just maybe like you, you're not that much into it, like a shoegaze label, Which shoegaze music. It's very dreamy kind of ah, genre. Okay. Uh, well, you know more about that stuff yeah. <laughs> than I do. Yeah. But this Imperial Stout is made with almond, coconut, coffee, and chocolate, clocking in at 15%. Yeah. And AKA we... shit faced. Yeah. Because it's a big can. <laughs> yes. And we've got chunks everywhere in yeah. this glass. I mean, when you shake it, you can see it floating up to yeah. the top. There's floaties everywhere of like, like coconut and almond. And when you see the bubbles generating on the head, on the top, like the oil, it's yeah. like sitting on top. Yeah. So it's definitely natural ingredients and not flavorings. And uh, we know that wow. certainly because it's important, uh, imported by a German company. And in Germany, you have to declare everything. Yeah, you have to declare the ingredients. So if you have extracts, you have to declare it. Look at that head, it's just gone. Like when we poured it, that was like, it fizzed up a little bit like a brown head, but man, it's like, but it's, it's so chunky, kind of like coconut bits or whatever. I think it's a mixture of oil and just leftover bits and pieces from the things in here. And it's just super thick looking, fucking but black. pitch black, no head. Yeah. Understandable. I mean, man, that glass looks crazy now. It needs to be washed afterwards. It Let's does. check out the aroma on Dreams. Oh Huge my! Huge milky coconut. God. It smells like ah oh. fresh desiccated. It smells like cocos top. Yeah, cocos top, but on steroids. Yeah, uh, and it smells real. It doesn't smell. It smells like baking, bakery like. Yeah, pa it's pastry like, but it's not like this fake candy bar crazy. Like it smells legit, like real fresh desiccated coconut and sweet almond. Because it has that real. And an undertone of coffee. Because it has that real smell, it reminds me a bit of PM Dawn. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PM Dawn. It has the density. There is PM, a PM Dawn aroma esque. Yeah. Oh, I first that same what? coffee. For some reason, really quickly, I got scumbane. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. I... Like a chocolate covered uh, marshmallow <sighs> candy in Denmark that's banana flavored. I, I like don't banana. I don't get banana, but no, I get no. a lot of but it coffee and coconut. It reminded me. I think it's the almond and the coconut or something that reminded me of like this almost like marshmallow thing. Yeah, vanilla is notes too, mm. and yeah, coffee is underneath everything, and the the chocolate is like this coconut. Bean. Yeah, the dense it's dark so, chocolate. Yeah, it smells baker. It smells exactly if you. I made coconut extract with alcohol at work, and that that's just like with uh, vodka. And it smells a lot like that, actually, mm. almost. But, yeah. It smells pretty Let's try and good. Cheers. That's sweet. <laughs> wow, that's very good, though. Ooh, and then, then that roasty, nutty Nut coffee. Aftertaste. But it's not too much. No, I don't think so. Wow. Like it's super. It's almost like coconut milk. Yeah, I see that coconut, coconut milk, milk flavor. Because there's so much lactose, it's coconut mm. milky, and it's not. It's like <laughs> real fresh desiccated coconut and yeah. almond. There's, but actually, there's so much coconut and almond that it, it hides the coffee a little bit. All right. I, I get, get I bit, get the coffee, but it's a little bit for me. It's definitely there. It's lingering a bit on the palate, but it's not as explosive as another coffee beers. No, no, but of course it's not just a coffee imperial stout. It has the other flavors, but I actually what get quite a decent amount of coffee. Loads of lactose. I can't get this fucking 
Skumbenen thing out of my head. Mm. I don't know why it was reminded of Skumbenena. <laughs> it is. It, just that it's not banana, really. Yeah, but I don't know, but there's something that's but, almost like banana-like to me, mm. which is weird. I just think it's probably the coconut vanilla thing mm. Mm. doing it, and maybe with the lactose. <laughs> I think so. It's a bit weird. Yeah. No vanilla in here, though, but lactose can be a little of a vanilla vibe. It's insane how much wow. this reminds me of PM Dawn with, with just with other adjuncts in it. It's Somehow. much stronger. But, but yeah. yeah. Base PM Dawn was also yeah similar and kind of like and the mouthfeel kind of reminds me of that beer too. too. But that yeah. beer was only eight point eight point no nine 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 yeah nine percent. Um, it's really damn good though. Mm. It's not like my all time favorite stout with these in ingredients, but it's really good. I think it's really fucking good. This. <laughs> This would actually suit a barrel where, but oh, yeah. well, because it's but so probably one that's not too sweet. Yeah, a barrel that gives maybe a like lot a of scotch bunch. barrel. Yeah, or maybe a co cognac barrel, something that's not too like candy, like a bourbon barrel can yeah, be. Yeah, it's also rye whiskey, so it's got yeah. some spiciness. Exactly. Yeah, rye whiskey with this—that's actually a really good suggestion. I think that would be really good. Mm. Mm. Super oily mouthfeel too, mm. and I think that's both the beer itself, but also all the, the <laughs> adjuncts with all the fat in there. Um, but it's actually surprisingly uh, drinkable. But it tastes a lot like these coconut tops we get in Scandinavia, like the desiccated coconut pastry, uh, which was funny because we had a beer similar to that earlier. And it, it really beer. reminds me of like a, somehow uh, like a mixture between PM Dawn and Coco's Tuck from Omnipotent. Yeah, exactly. And just on both on steroids yeah, yeah, yeah. somehow yeah that's very good i don't know I, am i just more critical today than i'm usually i'm just i'm i'm i don't i'm, I'm grading wise i don't want to give it a 95 but i'm right very close i don't know why but i'm just not feeling it so 94 i think mm. it's really fucking good but i don't know i think it's i think good. maybe it's because it's a bit too oily for me like like it's like almost like fatty But I guess there, <laughs> there is coconut and almond. That's and, a lot of it. Yeah. I'll I give it a 4.5 on untapped, but a 94 in real life. I yeah, think. I'll go 96. I think this is really fucking good. It's really good. Yeah. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling it. I, I, I'm almost up there with, with like PM Dawn, but um, it's really good yeah. though. It's really fucking good. I, I think it's really damn good. I like that it's not that synthetic. Uh, yeah, I like that too. I like that too. It's yeah. like le legit real flavors, but I yeah. don't know. So, I mean, definitely worth a shot. Yeah. I mean, if you can get... Where do you... Box beers, but it's gone. This was box beers, but I, I, I think... think I don't know when you'll put this up, but yeah. it's still available at, at Beyond Beer. In Germany, yeah. so... But yeah, I mean, very nice stuff, guys. If you want to try it, try it for sure. Uh, this is Aslan's, or was Aslan's dreams. <laughs> Coconut, almond, chocolate, coffee, imperial stout. Very nice stuff. So if you guys had a chance to try this one, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer video.